Hello everyone and welcome to another Top 5 Records video and today I'm going to review a Blu-ray release. Why am I going to do that instead of a vinyl release? Now I'm talking about a very important concert film for which I've been waiting very long to see in a very good release. Because this morning I got this in my mailbox. Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, the motion picture, the Blu-ray and CD set. Now, this concert film has always been fascinating me. About 20 years ago, when I just got into David Bowie, I bought this one, this DVD, the 30th anniversary release. And this DVD is a pretty good uh, DVD, pretty good release, yet the image is a little bit dark, but it's 16 millimeter. So, you're not quite sure what the quality of the film might have been, but yet, this moment in time, D.A. Pennebaker, the director who also filmed Monterey Pop and Don't Look Back, he was there at a very special moment in time, filming Ziggy Stardust's last show, the last show in which David Bowie appeared as Ziggy Stardust with the spiders from Mars. And it is a mesmerizing show. I mean, it's of an incredible quality. Um, there also is the beautiful vinyl release from 1983. I've been playing that a lot. Yet, I'm not going to do a final review of this new album. Why? This Blu-ray uh, and testing it and listening to it made, mm, made me decide that I'm probably not going to put on the vinyl. But I'm going to uh, get to that later on. Why is this such an interesting release? Now, i got a very short story to, to, to introduce to that. I myself, I'm a filmmaker, I'm a, uh, of profession, I'm a film director. And a couple of years ago, uh, about almost nine years ago, I made a documentary about a filmmaker, George Schluiser. I'm not sure if you know him, but he was the director of a film called The Vanishing. And he also made a film called Joao and the Knife, which was uh, uh, a part of a Brazilian film, which got, uh, I believe it was uh, the, the Oscar... Uh, the best for an Oscar pick for, for Brazil. And uh, four years ago, that film got selected into the Cannes Classic Series at the Cannes Film Festival. Now, that is a film that I've seen quite a lot of times. I've seen it on VHS, I've seen it on 35mm in a cinema, and I've enjoyed the film. But when I came to the Cannes Film Festival, they, I had to do uh, a couple of words because I made the documentary. Um, and I went into the screening room there, and at the Cannes Film Festival, I saw a new 4k scan and something happened which i was not prepared to experience because i always thought 35 millimeter that's 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 the best it's gonna be but the 4k transfer of that film made me experience it different not just because of the quality and that you feel the image more but it's the performance i saw things in the eyes in the faces of the actors which even in the 35 millimeter print were not visual. So it's in the material, but in the prints going from cinemas, you could not see that. I have not had an experience like that ever again until this morning when I put this Blu-ray on. The 16 millimeter scan of this film is so good that it brought the film to life on a whole new level for me. On a DVD, uh, which is a pretty good DVD, but the resolution is less and the images are dark. They went with the lights the show originally had, not putting film lights on there. So the face of Bowie, uh, wearing a lot of makeup, is often in uh, red lights with, a la with not a lot of detail. Beautifully filmed, but not a lot of detail on the DVD. The Blu-ray made that come to life. I've always experienced Ziggy Stardust as a far away alien, unapproachable, but visually very impressing. On this release, I saw David Bowie. For the first time, I saw a human being perform. I could see in his face his thoughts, uh, I, what, what I imagine his thoughts are, but I could see the nuances, the grin, the look in his eyes when he looks towards the audience and sees he's reaching them. 
I mean, there's so much more human interaction here. It's such a beautiful image of a moment in time. This is an incredible concert film and the visuals really have something to show. Now the mix is very good. It, the mix is, uh, I have not compared the mix. I mean, uh, DVD quality comparing to a Blu-ray quality is bullshit, but also comparing a vinyl to uh, a Blu-ray is bullshit. Yet when I listen to a Blu-ray or I look at the Blu-ray and the sound is not the way I, I recognize it, I, I do notice that. I love this mix. As a matter of fact, I love the uh, the 5.1 mix, which was made 20 years ago. Um, I love it even better than the uh, the original stereo mix because there's a little bit more air there, which 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 I really really like and which makes the the live sound come to life a bit more. But the visual, I mean, watching this Blu-ray. Is it's like a time machine. You're there and you're seeing David Bowie in full glory as I have never witnessed before. I'm gonna be watching this a lot with friends with a couple of beers on vinyl nights. We're gonna switch to Blu ray uh, now and then. We are switching to Blu ray from uh, uh, every now and then, but this is incredible. Also, this one features uh, two songs with Jeff Beck, which were not an original release. Um, namely, a medley, the Gene Genie with Love Me Do by the Beatles and Getting Back to Gene Genie again. Um, which is interesting, I thought he didn't play it that night and you can hear it on the Santa Monica vinyl that he does play that song in the tour. But um, on, the, on this vinyl it's not there. Probably because Jeff Beck was there, but in the booklet they don't know why they cut the Jeff Beck performance out. After there's also another song, Round and Round, which was also not on the vinyl and on the original film, but it's included. It's also with Jeff Beck. I'm not sure why that is. The, the film does feature other songs with other writing credits. Might be tough to get Beatles credits for your film. I mean, I know it's tough to get Beatles credits for your film. I have made a documentary in which our main character played a Beatles song on the piano and uh, we could not get hold of Paul McCartney to agree on it. But if Paul McCartney watches you using it, you're screwed. So that might be the case, might also be the case. Um, if you notice situations in which David Bowie s sings live or has a live release with another artist, um, for example, the Morrissey uh, release or um, his 50th anniversary uh, concert, the volume on the other vocalists are often lower than Bowie himself. So there might have been a decision made that Bowie would remain the only star in the Ziggy Stardust by a, a, a documentary or a concert film. We don't know the true reasons. That's just me speculating. It's nice that it's included. It's very nice that it's included, but um, it doesn't really lift the show to a new level for me. But it's very nice that it is included because I, I, I really like things to be complete. This Blu-ray... Yeah... Uh, one of the most incredible Blu-ray concert releases I have uh, witnessed, seriously. Which makes me think, um, should I do a video with the top 5 of uh, co concert films? Because these can be a very beautiful uh, addition to your vinyl collection. So. Let me know, have you bought it? What do you think? And should I do a top five with concert films? Uh, thanks for watching this video and um, leave your comment below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.